Hey Cancer, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for December 2018. Before we jump in Cancer, remember the new blog is up with all of the aspects and transits happening for December 2018. Of course, November 2018 and moving through 2019 are going to be up as well. But just so you don't miss a single thing, feel free to check them out at stormygrace.com. You can also click in the description box down below and it'll take you right on over there. You've also got um, access still to your 45 thousand subscriber gift but only for a short time in the beginning of December here so make sure you grab that as well okay all right cancer so coming into the month this is deep breath month I really like this December because I think we've been so busy all year major things have shifted out of your life this year or shifted into your life either way right so we kind of need a deep breath here in December and we definitely have the opportunity to get one now as we're coming into December Uranus is retrograde and has moved back into the sign of Aries so this lights up your 10th house space Space, okay this I think is really important for you to consider because first of all cancer I really genuinely feel like as we're coming into December you've really got your heart and your emotions on your sleeve it's been a little bit of an intense but good year right so as Uranus is in this 10th house one of the things you get to do is first of all look back because it's a retrograde so from seven years ago until now what progress have you made in your career? What progress have you made in your soul level calling? Maybe if it's a hobby, it's a whatever you feel called to do or drawn to. What progress have you made? Have you spent the last seven years studying? Have you spent the last year studying? Have you switched that job that you wanted to? What's been happening for you? Look back over it and celebrate the progress because I really believe sometimes you have to see where you've been to know where you're going, right? Sometimes that gives us the courage to go where we're going. So this is definitely a beautiful energy to take advantage of there. Also, continue from December until March to look at what are the behaviors, actions, and attitudes, Cancer, that you have that are actually standing in your way of continuing to progress in this career space. Aries energy is a lot about your identity right so what are you still holding on to what are these pieces you're still holding on to that you're like oh I can't move forward because who am I to talk about whatever or oh my god you know whatever you're thinking that holds you back from stepping out into your power right keep your eyes on that little piece of the prize so that you can make the adjustments okay now as we continue through this month we have people and energies coming out of retrograde, right? Mercury comes out of retrograde this month, which is phenomenal because it means our thinking can get back on track. Our communications with others can get back on track, which is really phenomenal, all right? So let's jump in and talk about this month. So right at the beginning of the month, we've got Venus on the second. We've got Venus coming into Scorpio and this lights up your fifth house, right? We've also got Mercury up here and Venus in the fifth house is fun. The fifth house is the joy house the playhouse, the house of self-expression, right? This is a beautiful house to have Venus in because she wants to be indulgent here. She wants to bring harmony. She wants to beautifully express you. Now, Venus in the fifth house does like to snack a little bit, I found, so be sure you're not eating like crazy, okay? You are ruled by the stomach, so you don't want to make yourself crazy, okay? But enjoy Venus being here. This could bring romance to your table. Absolutely. It could bring a bump in romance to your table. You know, if you're in a relationship, it's felt a little dry, or maybe you've had distance between the two of you for whatever reason, this could kind of bridge that gap a little bit. So that's great. Now, the other thing I think of is that on the sixth of the month, we've got Mercury coming direct here in Scorpio. So also in this fifth house space. This is phenomenal. When Mercury comes back online, Mercury is incredibly business savvy, right? Like he is real smart at seeing the details and making some decisions. If you wanted to start a new business, start a new thing, remember the word conception. When you get to the fifth house, now whether this is I'm going to conceive a child or I'm going to start a project, I'm going to be at the beginning of something. This is a wonderful energy to begin something new. This could also be something phenomenal for your children as well. So whether you have kids coming in from out of town because it's the holidays, depending on where you are, this could be a wonderful, harmonious social energy or something else is happening for your children. So whatever that looks like, there's a lot of expression here and there's a will willingness to take a little bit of risk to get it as well. So beautiful beginning to the month, I think. 
Now on the seventh, we've got a new moon happening in Sagittarius, lighting up your sixth house space. So we've got this new moon, which says we are going to plant our seeds of intention, begin something new. This is the beginning of a new 28 day cycle that will have energy for four weeks, okay? Now this is lighting up the sixth house space, but the sun and Jupiter are also here. And then we get to the 12th of the month and Mercury, who is now direct, also steps into Sagittarius. So your sixth house, this house of work, freelance work, daily routine, health regimes, mental wellness, service to other people, right? All of these things are back online and you have a set of new beginnings here. Let's say you decide to start a new beginning or a new project or a new hobby or just have some freaking fun at the beginning of the year. This is gonna bring in opportunities for you to bring that into your daily routine, bring that into your daily allowance of who you're gonna allow yourself to be, right? It may take a little bit of stress and strain also off the table for the next four weeks because it's bringing you new ideas or new energy into these areas of your life, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep the sixth house in mind. Your health could really take a turn in a very positive direction, depending on your chart, with this new energy, okay? Now on the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening in your sign. It's in Cancer. So First and foremost, what comes to mind for me is that the full moon says that we need to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something. An adjustment needs to be made in some way, shape, or form, okay? So what does this look like for you? Maybe you're like, yep, I have done fill in the blank for a very long time. I'm ready to present myself out into the world a little bit differently. I'm whatever. Now the big thing that I think of with this full moon for you is that this is a time over the next four weeks where regardless of how maybe raw at the end of the year or empowered you're feeling, whichever state you find yourself in, Cancer, you are going to find that space between speaking up for yourself, having a heck ton of assertiveness come to the table, but also not damaging other people or relationships. But I do think that in this next four weeks, you find your feet in a different way, Cancer, where you are really speaking up for what you want. It's a new level of respect for yourself, probably based on some things that you've already experienced in the previous months. So, and let's keep in mind as well, you've got Uranus at the top of your chart, what you have to give to the world. You're re-looking at this whole thing and going, wait a minute, I'm actually kind of great, so I need to get busy with that. Okay, that could definitely be an energy that's running to the table. Now, because it is a full moon and sometimes the full moon does a little drying up act, there could be something you were trying to move towards and you're actually a little bit delayed from it or the uh, whatever you were moving towards actually moves away from you. If that's the case, remember energetically, we gotta all be on the same energetic path if we're gonna move together, but if something's moving away, you either have an action, attitude, or behavior that is not in alignment with that or it's just actually not your thing let it go okay now we also have at the end of the month the sun moving into Capricorn now the sun says this is where I want to be seen this is light heat life vitality there's a lot of energy here you're shining in this area and it's in Capricorn so this is in relationships so yes with the sun here you could be drawing new relationships to you but you could also here just be saying in the relationships I have in my life I'm willing to start speaking up a little bit more I maybe have to lean into different relationships, right? Maybe you've had the same job for a really long time, so you had all your work friends, and now something has shifted. You got a promotion, you lost your job, you changed departments, and now you have to find a new group of friends. Maybe you're retired, and you're willing to attract some new energy, some new play, some new joy into your life at the end of the year for some new experiences. So whatever it is, the sun lights up and supports. Also having Pluto and Saturn here, they're trying to level you up. So you've got some level up influential relationship stuff coming to the surface. And I wouldn't even be surprised, Cancer, if this is really not the time at the end of the year that Cancer finds Cancer and you really have a new level of confidence as you leave 2018. So I can't wait to see what this looks like for you. Please keep it posted in the um, comment section down below what's happening for you. I do check them. I try and love your comments so that you know that I saw them at least. So please keep connected with me. I love hearing from you. All right. All right, Cancer, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in 2019. Bye.